Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back and today we're going to be playing Sally Face. This is going to be episode 2. Didn't realize that this was like a episode series, but uh, I got invested in it after episode 1, so I always want to keep on going with it and went ahead and bought the full game. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Sal? Sally, where are you? Okay, so this is me before the mask now. Everything looks a little different, that art style and all that does. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it, please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, so just give me a seat to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait over there by the trees. Where are the trees? Am I going the right way? This sounds like the... Uh... What's happening? Hey, where am I going? Right there was something in the woods? Okay, so this is a whole dream right now. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm running away. Is this what happened? Like... Okay. So, it looks like our mom got attacked by an animal, by a dog. Holy. And maybe I was there too? And that's what ended up happening when I had to get a new face. Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Her Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Larry? I'm confused. Bathroom. What am I doing? I'm clogging a toilet. Oh, Larry. Oh, I'm just, I'm just tripping out, basically. Climb up. Switch. Maybe I should look around more first. Okay, before we flip the switch. Sweet. Dang, how far can we go up? So I'm trying to process all this. At the moment, it looks like, um... Maybe I should look around more first. Okay. I guess let's just keep going all the way to the top. We're as high as we can go up. So what it seems like... Okay, so we're not flipping any of the switches. Got it. So were we the ones? Oh, no, 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 no. Larry, Larry is old buddy. That was in the in there. He's the guy our age. I was tripping at first. Not the pony. You there, please help me. What's wrong? The water is stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please hurry. All right, so we got to just basically climb all the way back up again and start the water. No, we got to go all the way to the top, I'm pretty sure. Just want to double check before I went to making assumptions. I wish they had a sprint button in this game. Oh, so wait, hold on, pause. Maybe it's the middle one first. Okay, middle. Watch it be bottom. Oh no, it's okay. Middle, top, and then bottom. All the way back to the bottom and flip this last switch and give old pony some water. It worked. Alright, we got the water flowing now. I don't understand why ponies gotta look like that though. Holy. He truck it till he was doggone. Like that. Ooh. Luke. She didn't seem like that old to be honest with you. I thought she was older. 
Leave? Yes, please. Get me out of here. Is this from old Charlie? Where am I? I'm just walking off into the void. Yep. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. I know you touched my pony. Thought we were friends, Sal. Oh boy, it's tripping. He's got some crazy dreams. I can't even lie. Episode 2, The Wretched. I can already tell this one right here is about to be a wild one. Man, you're still having those nightmares. I haven't had them this this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. Been here for most of my life, I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Uh, he better show me something wild. Ready? Dang, we leave right outside. Oh, the sound of snow and walking just makes my light teeth. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? This is where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Awesome. Dang, he's already in the basement. And got his own room. Thought his mom be gone a lot. That's why he'd be playing the music so loud. This is so cute. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I always wanted a treehouse when I was young. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, wait. What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was gone. No note, nothing. All of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Dang, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They all ever fought or anything. It wasn't, it's, it isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you, so what do you think happened? Look, you know, I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but who is Chug? Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal, and I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. Lit a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh, man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson. She was screaming at me like crazy as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag, I felt horrible, though, that poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared, dude. If I was losing my mind, he was gone as quick as he came. Just as the doors opened, he cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was messed up after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mr. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every, every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was a, like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. We literally saw that in the dude's house. And the eyes were the worst part, those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy crap, what? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear I've seen it in the building just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? But there's some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts. Let's see if we can get the, to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Alright, let's check out everything. Oh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Okay, so we looked out at the picture already. And my game boy goes to acting a fool. Okay, uh, no, I don't want to look at the picture anymore. Let's go to the cabinet. Nothing useful in there. Chest. Uh, a bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Elliot's dad is the opposite of my dad. 
These are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've ever watched a concert on TV with my dad. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. My fault, my fault. Let alone go one live. There's some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like a look like it's sealed shut. Uh, yeah, let's take it. Why not? It has some. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. Belong to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. Never can figure out how to open it though. Looks like there's one. There's a one piece missing. One piece. Oh yeah, you're right. Never noticed that. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Now nah, go ahead. Cool. So let me know if you get to open it. Of course. Okay. So talk to Larry. Picture cabinet chest. All right, I don't see anything else we need to mess with. Dang, we get down yet? Oh, Larry's walking with me. Cool. So we have a, pa a piece that's missing out of the box that we need to figure out. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to, sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Okay. I can talk to him. Stereo. Did you ever tape that new Sandy's file song? Yeah, man. You want to hear it? Maybe later. Whatever you want to hear, just let me know. Yeah, I'd rather not. Let's see. Creepy things, as always. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about the demon. I hope she'll ca she'll come out today. Who is Megan? Lisa's room. Hey Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh hi, so I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain, which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now. I get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Can I get you anything? Don't trouble yourself any, Sal. Larry's taking good care of me. Okay. Nothing to mess with here. Larry's room, leave, anything, yeah. Uh, this is just like, it's just the trails, but there's nothing of the note inside of. Going to the bathroom. They always got a dark in here, bro. This is where the demon was last time. No demon this time, cool. I actually like that. All right, went to the bathroom. All right, mess with the chest. Let's leave. Let's find out who these new people are. Who is this? Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack out of the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Okay. Have you seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Ever seen a demon with red eyes? What heck no? Are you trying to give me nightmares? All right. What is this? That's their room. That's Chug. Chug's a new guy. Laundry. Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes in here? Uh, doesn't look like anything I can use right now. I think that would be a good place to find, but when did all these cameras get in? They must have just put these up. All right, we're on the basement. Let's go to floor number one and work our way through. Let's see, Addison. Anyway, Sally Face, nice to see you. I uh, hope you're doing well today. Hi, Michelle. I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. So, how may I be of service to you? What's with the new cameras? Then you and your father received the invitation to the monthly meeting. Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. It's not a problem at all, though. I do suggest you join in on the meetings of the future if you're able to do that. That is. See, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I have had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety, with all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that this new state of art of the art security system in place everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. See any ghosts around? Oh heavens to bed. <laughs> Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms fighting at my, my, my tenants. I'm having a hard time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no. It's okay, Michelle. Everything is okay. I was, uh, um, we're not paid for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stresses at the moment. What a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. I don't think anyone lives here. All right. Somebody at 204 literally doesn't check their mail. We can't leave. 
Dude, cameras everywhere. Holy, we're probably gonna have to do something with them later on. So nobody lives at 104. We gotta find out who 204 is. Miss Rosenberg's place. Knock on the door. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? So want to talk to you? To me? Oh, all right. Come on in. Then the door is open. So new old lady, Ro Ro Rosenberg. Hello there, Sally. Brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman, not a girl. Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I want to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mic can shift. A great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into those thoughts, and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had to ask, something to ask. How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past, I'm afraid my days are nearly nearing an end. Sooner I'll turn to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A point that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say, try yes and pray for dreaded and empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay. I was asking how long you lived here. Uh, you know, I do remember when the Addison's moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this is oh my gosh. You, young, new beginning. What foolish girl I was. You regret selling land. land. Life is always mine with, with, filled with regrets. Dude, she is talking a lot Um, about the Addison's. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone. Time takes us all, Sally. All right, so they died. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him, he never leaves a guy forsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay a lot away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Worship his father, open a tea house, uh, find himself in the safety of the room. Spot a cheerful persona, uh, is, is about as timid as they come. Damaged by life and misfortunes. All right, seen any ghosts? Ghosts? Why ever would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do a rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Do, don't be consumed by the lore of death and its many secrets. Holy, I'm sorry, but this lady is talking a whole lot. All right. And she keeps calling me a cheat. So, let's get out of here, please. That's Gibbs. I think Ms. Gibbs will kill me if I bother her again. All right, so we're not talking to her? Maybe? So, no, we're not. On the number two, we gotta find the, the girl, the actual girl around here. Go to two. 204 is the one that doesn't have any people that lived here and moved out to what happened with Charlie. Okay, 204 right here. We just walk right in. Whose place is this? The man that smells lingering is definitely like going in there. Okay, nothing around here. What is this place? Wait, oh, this is where old girl died, ain't it? No, I thought she died beside us. Oh, that's Charlie's old place, okay. 203, nobody lives there. 202. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. That's Todd's place. Knock. Nobody. There goes that sound again. It always makes a sound at 201. There's got to be something up with that. Okay, let's go to three now. I'm gonna try and talk to Megan, I think. Chug is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. Okay. No one's home at 304. So nobody's there. Chug is on third floor. Who's at 302? Oh, oh, I sell. What well, is up today? Hey, David. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night all the time. Really getting sleep around here. Oh, um, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? And Sally, you just gotta lay off the drugs, man. <laughs> Trust me, you have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? Oh well, they're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them, get them out, but we got, we just got talking. That Jano lost track of time. Okay, sees ya. That's David. College, they're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. College students. Okay. So we got David and Chuck. No, just David on the third floor. We live on the fourth floor. I know that. This is our place. 
Let's go in here and just talk to Dad. Not Gizmo laying like that. What's up? Watch him, buddy. What the, What a goat. Let's go in the bathroom. Anything in here? Hey, we can at least clear the doggone litter thing up. Litter box. Let's see. Let's go find Dad. Just my room. Anything in here? Or at least like cleaner. I can play the sound. What am I watching? Holy. Dad's room. He's working. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, so I have to make this deadline for work. Okay. So he's working. Anything around here? Nope. Okay, so nothing really happened in our place. Let's get up out of here. Uh, Robert, he must not be at home. I don't know, Robert. So that Megan girl's gotta be on our floor. Uh, okay. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. Okay, maybe the fifth floor? But the fifth floor was a creepy place last time. Let's check. Uh, no, still creepy. 504 is where we saw old buddy. I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. Then we have to believe the ass apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. Okay, so Megan is the ghost. So what did you want to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She, just come on. Uh, sport is shut. Okay, so that was not the bedroom. The bathroom. The bathroom is this away. Damn. Dang, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh, what? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while. I hope she's okay. So you come up to his moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As, as weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best buddy. If this ha helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling, dude. No, you should go talk with... No, you should go talk with Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into this supernatural stuff like you are. But it could help somehow. Todd, really, huh? Never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal, rational, high. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm going to head back downstairs and make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. we Will do. Is she going to come out? Okay, maybe not. Maybe she will if we walk back this way. Okay, maybe not. Get up out of here. This has to be the creepiest place. Let's see if we can look through this time. Are we going five and two this time? This is new. What is that? Why is there a dead? Why is there blood on the cage? I don't like that. Is this the one that was locked before? No, that was this one. Locked. Let's see if we can look through this time. Nothing. All right. Okay, I don't remember where Todd's place is. Was it the second floor? Maybe? Uh, yep, it was. I guess more than I am. Hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hi, I'm Ash. No shot, this dude. It must be Sally Face. I heard so much about you. I on me, you have? Yeah, all good things. I swear I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, or you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you all as well. Uh, well, I'd love to stay in chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll run into you again, Sus Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Oh, let's check Todd out. You too. You all right, Sally? So seem to be anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you on, uh, brings you this way? 
Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my aura assignments. Sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You come here to talk about Ashley, though. So what's up? All right. Um, do you believe in ghosts? I live in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Dude, this guy tired. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomenon at first hand, I would require concrete evidence to clear with certainty. That I believe in ghosts, though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mr. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunting. I'm trying to find out more about ghosts here. Ah, I see. So I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be some assistance with the exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes added some sort of conductor for them. Though that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the gear boy cartridge with you now? Yeah, perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call me up on Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. She, sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try and say the same thing here so we can tend to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing is happening in the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help det better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, all I need, I'll need i need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack. Sure, I'll be in the room once you're ready. Okay, so I have to find this stuff. An antenna? I mean, like, where am I gonna find that out? Let's leave Todd's parents' room or there. I don't wanna bother him. Let's go in Todd's room, maybe he has some. I can finish this, Bob. He's okay. My parents just said I need more nature in my life to counterbalance all this technology, as they put it. Okay, okay. Wait. Sally face. Larry face. Mmm, an antenna. And batteries. I have, I actually have no clue where I'm going to find that out. Uh, maybe I can go back to my place. Maybe I have something there. Or maybe Chug still. Let's see if Chug's still at uh at the what's the name? Uh, okay. So nothing to talk to him about. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Okay, so nothing there. Maybe some of the laundry? No. Well, while I'm down there, I might as well go to, uh... Dang. I might as well go into Larry's room and see if I can find anything. He might have some. Larry's room. Oh, he's got an antenna. Hey, mind if I borrow an antenna for your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Okay, so we got that. Bomb okay. Yeah, it should be alright. Shane says always gets her. It's just back old. All right, and now we need, okay, antenna. I need to find some else, and I'm not gonna lie. Was it batteries? Let me go back and talk to Todd real quick because I actually forgot. I think Chug lives on the third floor, don't he? I believe he does. No, not Ty's room. I mean, Pants' room. Let's talk to him. Uh, what will this will this work for reception? Uh, antenna. Yes, this will work perfectly. Will this work for power? Walkie-talkie. Yes, the battery from the walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thing is Sally Face. Will the two components components you retrieve and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get ready. So he's gonna be souping it up. Okay, I'll set behold this super gear boy. Time so modify my gear to take supernatural spots. I can use it by pressing Y, activate it by pressing R. I'm um, cool, don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode when, while there's strange cartridges in it. 
Oh, awesome. Yeah, me worry for a second. However, I unfortunately need a few extra parts from your walkie talkie and was able to salvage it. I hope that's all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you need to hold this system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press Y. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies at close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, the surge of the electricity provide an ample source of power to energize nearby operations, possibly other supernatural elements as well. Yeah, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up super grip here by pressing Y and then R. Oh, uh, maybe I. What the? It worked. Holy crap, Pillow, what's the matter? I never thought I'd kill them. It's, I, it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh, God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you, Sadie, but I know better than that. I wanted to help you out. Uh, we, why have you left this place? We can never leave. Why do you mean you can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, no, no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red eye man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? To go, I'm sorry. Oh, he was in the, he was just in it, wasn't I? That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like it. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate these theories and a whole other thing to actually experience. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, there's some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural ice spots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I know some extraneous static around the game cartridges. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. Uh, play? What are we playing? In Seeking Providence? Chapter 3. He knew not why he was drawn to this place. Yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Okay. Sorry, members only. What am I playing? Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Enter. Are we following? Are we following where the noise is coming from? All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. So that's right, right? That ain't right. That ain't right. That's right. That's right. Okay, I hear it now. That's right. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montag. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard you crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. It's kind of you. I take it. You're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. You're going to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my, wife, my wit's end to understand. I lost my family last year in the big battery fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. There's a that uh, that's awful kind of you, Mr. Mon Mr. Montog. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. Uh oh. So we're playing as the guy right now. You couldn't have come here along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to, to nice folk like you. That pleasure is all mine. Okay, so we did that one on how he met old girl. Okay, so what happens if we just pull it out? Two oh three, two oh four. Let's go in here. Yeah, I feel like this one's gonna be a good one. Oh, we got something that pops up. What was that? Um, what? Did we just get a piece for the thing, though? Okay, so we can't. Okay, so that wasn't it. So we just unlocked something, though. 
That's Charlie's old place that we just went into. Let's see. Ty's place. Okay, nobody's in there. Let's just pull the thing out. Alright, so we've been there. Let's go down to... Let's go to the fifth floor. I just know something's going to happen there. Let's go in here. Something's finna happen. We got another one of those things. Anything else around here? Okay, so we got nothing around right there. I hate the sound. Like this music is so eerie. Locked. Make sure there ain't nothing around here first. Okay. Let's pull this out. I wonder what happened to our old buddy that was sitting there that one time. Let's go in the bathroom. Wow, really? So nothing in the bathroom. Okay, so old girl does not want to talk to us. Anything all the way at the back? Some right here. What are we unlocking right here? That didn't look good. Let's get up out of here. Cause I feel like we got everything. So that was five, let's go to four. Maybe we can go in our bathroom. Let's walk the hallway first. We gotta scan every area. Oh, I feel like something in there would be a good one. I don't think anyone lives here. Can we not get in here? Screw it. Into Sal's place. Anything all the way in the back? No. Let's go in our bathroom. Okay, nothing in our bathroom. Uh, let's go in our room. Anything in our room? Nothing. Anything in our dad's room? Is he still doing that? Yep, still working. Cool. All right, out of here we go then. That was our place. Robert's place, he must not be at home, okay. So we've checked all of 400 then. I'm sorry, not 400, yeah, 400, room 400. Let's go to the third floor now. I forgot who's in here, is this Chug's place? Or is Chug on the second floor? Yeah, this is Chug, okay. No one's home. Can we go into Chug's place? Chug's downstairs, okay. Walk all the way through, nothing. Pretty busy right now. David's place. So, okay, nothing. All right, so we just meet David, but he has nothing to do with the story, cool. So that was third floor. Let's go to second floor then. See what we have going on here. Nothing. Nothing there. Todd's place. We've already been through here. I didn't mean to go back in here. Did we already check? We've already checked all the second floor. Um, let's go to the first floor. Maybe there's something in an old, old rock Rosenberry's place. Keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Anything anywhere around here? I feel like going up to the uh, tree house might be a good place to go as well. 104, no one lives there. Have anything to talk about? Nothing. Okay. Who is this? This is an old lady, Rosenburst. Oh, we got some right here. Oh, she is a freaking. She's not real. 
Oh my, what is this horrific device you have? It's a, a, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't, you don't understand. So she's actually a ghost. She's not real. That's crazy work, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not about to play that in her face. But let's just play it right here. Since we just unlocked another chapter. Chapter 1, she desperately sought a place among the councils so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the in initiation trial to retrieve the Book of Forgotten Truths. Oh, she's on something crazy. So she's a witch? Oh, oh, okay, so you can't hit these. Got it. This is like that one game. And I'm not very good at these games, dude. What are these spikes or something? Stay. You better not die either. I'm using I'm gonna use the analog stick. I mean not the analog sticks, the uh, D pad. I feel like it'd be better this way. Because the analog sticks kinda making me uh real bros. I've retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? Council recognizes the great resolve you've shown to us today. Let this book stand as, your t as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our research and our reach be infinite and everlasting, for we are the devourers of God. Girl, what what are we on about right there? Alright. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't done there. I need to check everything out. 101 okay so we can't <laughs> we can't bother her with our device all right the last place i can only think of is the basement and the tree house so let's go down there and check it out and see what we have anything around here okay anything of use right now right, let's go see let's go check on larry Ooh, it's gonna be creepy. Okay, I was thinking maybe there's something. Let's walk all the way to the corner because I'm pretty sure this is where I saw the demon last time. Yep. Oh no, okay, it was something else. What the? Found all four seals. Okay, so we just unlocked a new game. Or a new chapter. <laughs> what chapter is this gonna be? Chapter six. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the castle required. Okay, so we're still playing as old girl, I think. Up. Keep going. Oh, I don't know if I'm. What is this? So we needed that. Got it. Just go straight ahead. We've collected one thing already. Down. I gotta be very technical with this. I don't wanna hit nothing. I sure don't wanna die, cause I don't know if I have to redo everything I just grabbed. And the feels of this is so iffy. Oh my gosh, okay. Another one we got. Ooh, boy, I was testing on that one. Do you cut across the screen fast? Okay. Down. Over. Over. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. Oh, those are the two. Okay, so every time we grab one, it sends it over there. I don't know if I've gone this way already. No, I haven't. How many of these do I need to grab, though? Keep pushing, keep pushing. Ooh, okay, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one down here and one up, up top. I guess we're gonna need four of them. Wait, no, we already grabbed this one? I don't even remember going this way, I'm not gonna lie. I guess I'm lost. Yeah, I do not rem 
I don't remember the spot. Which everything kind of... No, dude. Oh, I think I went straight the first time. I... Oh my gosh, I'm tripping. You know what? We're going to use the analog stick because I feel like I can move a little quicker. Maybe these all... Okay, so these don't all lead to the same place. Okay, so I do need to go to the right. So let's go to the right and go all the way up. Like I said, I swear I didn't... I haven't been this way before. Well, I am literally testing that right there. Let's see. Straight across. Up. Where did I die? Okay. So that's all. Okay, we grabbed all them. Retrieve the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Did they just turn old girl into the demon? Okay, so well that's done. Uh, we've already gone in her room. Let's go in Larry's room now. Anything creepy happening? No. Let's talk to Check out the Super Gear Boy. So I made that. It's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah. Need the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Dang, well, that's okay. Hopefully, it will, will help me find more about these ghosts. My curse agreed. Okay. Anything around here? No. Looks like we need to head out and go check on outside up in the tree house. I feel like there's going to be something here that we need to thing. Maybe uh, his dad will be up here. That would be kind of crazy if he's in the tree house with him. Yep, I knew it. Sal, who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, not no, no, no. the Sal uh, in living end. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I can't. Ha I don't have much time. Remember all. You remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? To go, um, red ball. <laughs> Okay, red ball. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was, my life is weird. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. But we just unlocked something new, didn't we? Did we not just unlock a new chapter? Yes, chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again to Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. Okay, we're Jim. Enter. I'm not too sure what's happening right now. Oh. Okay. We went the wrong way anyways, I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe we didn't go the wrong way. But let me just go straight across. See if this is the right way. Oh, no, we have to get this. Oh, okay, so that unlocks all that now, I'm pretty sure. Oof! Way back hit your head. What even is this? That's a new one. Um, hit that button. Okay, that leads to nowhere. Well, I obviously unlocked something. My thing is, where do I go from here now? Maybe I go all the way across. Yeah, I think this is the way. Nope. I'm supposed to go the short path. Or the tighter path. Okay. So we just unlock that. Time to go talk to Tide. See what the smart guy has found out about whatever is going on in this place. 
because it is actually uh, going crazy. Is there anything out here? No. What happens if we hit? Okay, so if you press R, it doesn't even matter, it just stops you. Nothing to talk to you about, buddy. Go to the living room. I think Todd is on the second floor. Dude, he still has not. Buddy, the snack man isn't coming, just leave it be. Todd's place right here. Todd's room. Strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. Okay, the only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. That is not him. Well, there it gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mr. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police report records. As if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How's that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Aston Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from the bathroom was telling us about. Stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that a girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had been fishing in Fillinger River and drowned, some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second, I've seen that next before. I know I, ha I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talked to her, but I've seen it somewhere. Uh, since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps finding a necklace will help somehow. That's actually making a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where I saw that thing. I don't remember seeing it at all. Maybe it's on the grandma? Is there anything over here I can use? No. Only thing I can think is that it would be on the old woman from number one. That's the only place it, we might have seen it. Because I don't think, unless David has it. But I don't think David has it. Let's go to her place. No, she doesn't. Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time, man. Yes, I know, Sam. I'm not going to drop dead on you. Not today, at least. Okay. So, she doesn't have it. This. Okay, can't talk to Mrs. Gibson. I'm trying to figure out where we saw it at. Four, three. Maybe it's in the lost and found? Maybe that's where they keep he keeps singing it out. Yep. No, I saw the necklace somehow. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Go upstairs. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy knuckles, that's not a nice word, Larry. Haha, you have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay, my daddy says bad words sometimes too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean, I've been here the whole time? I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side, yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh yeah, oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg, he always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, my daddy didn't like him so much, but I didn't. I don't know why, it's because your mommy was cheating on him with him. What can you tell me about your parents? This is my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but yeah, he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned to angriness. Okay, do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Winnego, huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. He, he, can you tell me where he is? Do you know any, anything else about him? Please, I need to know. Oh, I'm sorry, you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Ah, uh, yes. Where did you find it? Uh, it was downstairs in the bottom of the lost found box. My mom gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom. She never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she, uh-oh, what? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Way I. So big demon man's coming our way. 
crap. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. We're going to need to get into the bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now. He always says some excuse. Maybe you'll have a better look. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Can we pull and see if we can see the demon? No. He's got to make his walk, though. Maybe we can bust that door open, too, once we get in there. Oh, something's gonna happen in this elevator and I'm not gonna like it. Wait, we were supposed to go to the third floor. We did get a new game. I probably should play the new chapter. Hold on. When we get to the third floor, I played a new chapter. Let's see. Megan's photo. Okay, play. This is gonna be chapter what? Chapter five. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun in that moment the young girl realized she would have gone too far into unfamiliar woods. So is this her? Is this Megan? So Megan got lost in the woods or something? Is this going to be the same thing where you have to listen for an, a sound? Okay, I just heard something right there. Nothing. I didn't hear nothing right there. So, I'm, or maybe I'm just tripping. I don't hear nothing. I don't hear nothing. I don't know. Let's just keep walking around. Maybe there's nothing here. Maybe if we keep walking enough, we'll see some. I think that that was a sound. Okay, I think I just heard something around there. Nothing. I think I heard something. I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know if I keep hearing something or what. Like, do we just have to keep walking until we something happens? The freaking sound sounds exactly the same as everything else. I don't know what's going on. You see, it's, it makes the same. The sound is making the same as the other stuff. Let's just keep walking. Like on the road. Let's just keep walking on the road and don't do nothing. Because it seems like, why does it look like the screen keeps getting darker and darker? Or is that just me? Maybe I'm tripping. I wish the music wasn't so annoying though, holy. Okay, nothing still hasn't happened. Let's go up. I don't hear nothing. Like, is it getting darker or is it just me? I feel like it is getting darker. Okay, yeah. It was. Oh, it was running out of time. I don't hear nothing. I don't hear nothing. Okay, I just heard something, I think. Nothing. Okay, I just heard something right there. Nothing. Okay, I just heard something right there. Nothing. Nothing. I'm trying to hear. I don't hear nothing. Is that the right way? Maybe this is the way, I don't know. Nothing. Can I go up? 
Can I go up this way? I cannot. Nothing. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm looking for on this one, dude. Okay, playtime was interrupted by the promptly sitting sun in that moment. A young girl realized she had gone far too deep into unfamiliar woods. So we have to find a way out, right? I hear what you That is what I hear, and I don't know if that's the right way. The other ones sound like like it would give you a like a ding on which way was the right way to go. Okay, okay, I just heard some. I don't know if that was the right way or what. That might have sounded like the right way. Okay, I'm gonna just see here and listen. Okay, wah ba ba. Nothing. Nothing. I think I just heard something. I don't know, let's just keep running down the road. Like, that's the only thing I can think is you just keep running down the road. Did we lose? This, this mode right here is tripping me out. And I don't know what's worse. I don't know if it's the game or if it's just like hearing this chick the whole time. <laughs> or hearing this uh, song with this girl. I don't like this music. Okay, we're... Bump this one. Bump that one. I need a break from that noise. What's up, brother? Can I borrow your car, bro? I love to lean into you, but it's the only thing I'm holding up my shelf right now. See, there's those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids and I was, but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Chase the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you just could talk to them for me and get them a little quieter, then I could let you borrow the crow bar. Okay, I could talk to them. Thanks, Sal. Doing myself, but I ain't in clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party poop, you know. It's not a problem. I'll be right back. Talk to the college kids, I guess. Hi, CJ. What's up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for a party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Uh, probably this one. How about this? Huh? You know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. Hey Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey Sally Face, I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down today. Look okay, if I look up your list, sure. Let's do, uh, uh, chess tournament. How about this? It's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's the perfect choice tonight. Okay, so it's not like we gotta set that up nice. What's up, dude? Oh, so that wasn't right. Did we not? Did we not talk to him and get it right? No, we need to go in their bathroom. Any ghosts? No. Who is this? Ozzy or what? Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Uh, musical chairs, charades, duck duck moves, dodgeball, telephone, ping pong. Telephone. How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what the party needs. Thanks, Sal. Okay, so it, sounds, it looks like we... I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. So we just set it all up. Uh, can I borrow your crowbar? I worded it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Well, it's great news. Thanks for helping me, Sal. So I'll be so happy, too. Last time our winning pitch almost blowed up. Pieces. I'm glad I could help. Alright, let me go to that crowbar for you. Alright. 
Got the crowbar. Thanks, you too. Now let's go up to our place and go uh, into the old girl's room. Yeah, they use a crowbar to break him. Maybe I can find something important inside. You should I use a crowbar? I guess. Obviously. Ah, dang. Nobody heard this. Let's pull it out. Uh, what's about to happen? Mr. Sanderson, who are you? My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces. Like waiting, like waking from a dream. Do you know what happened to my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Movers came and came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. You must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is torturous. Wish we had never moved to this place. Then he would never have met, met them, and Charlie would have never. Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Mr. Sanderson. Go high. Goodbye, Sal. Okay, we got that. Anything else? Okay, let's leave. Okay, we got that. Let's play that one. Got a new chapter. Uh, chapter 8. After learning what Herman was involved with, Mr. Sanderson reached out to a friend for help. They would meet up later that night. Have a nice day at work. Promise me you'll stay out, of course. I love you, babe. Love you, too. Okay, so they were all part of this little thing where they summoned a demon. I have to gather some evidence first if anyone's going, going to believe this. Oh, I'm... Oh. Are they after me? They are. They're, like, jumping at me. Ooh. Maybe they're not after me. Give me the book. Oh, I have to get back away from him? Yikes. He does like a square or a triangle or something. Girl, you are sprinting. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Get up out of here. Alright. Hey, this isn't a good time to talk. Can you come back later? Charlie, what the heck has gotten into you? All right, can we please? Maybe we can get it this time. There you go, this way. Let's go this way. This way. This way. That way, maybe. That way, maybe. Nothing. Nothing. That. Nothing. Nothing. Maybe. 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 What's this way? Is there any button that I can press? Hers has to be the hardest because I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Because we still have two more chapters that's locked. So maybe hers makes sense at the end when we find out what's wrong with her. Let's go up to five because there is a boarded up room. And 504. Let's see, I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Yeah, I don't want to, but let's do it. I don't want to, bro. It's gonna get freaky in here, dude. Ooh, who is this? Stacy? Are you okay? Okay. Okay, we can go into the hole later. Let's play the game real quick first. She is chapter four, I think.
When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said, I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Is that? Okay, we cut power for that one. Okay, that was five. Here's four. Okay. Cut four. Three. Uh, two. We're going to two next. No, we're on two. This is the last floor. Or maybe we gotta go to the basement. Yep. Alright, that's all the places. I can't take that now. What do we have to do? Enter. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good, and I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing's guaranteed, but I don't think we, we I, I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in this. If we can stop this ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God that, that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Okay, so that's done. The last thing to do is go inside the hole in the random wall. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Uh, crawl through the creepy old point of no return? Okay, a noose? Somebody's about to be hanging there. Hello? What happened? Play? What's going on? Did my game just glitch? No, my game's glitched. Investigated five, four. My thing's glitched. Quit. Quit. Okay. Oh. Maybe it was supposed to be like that. Luke, can you hear me? Luke. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. That was a good thing you did. So the red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was ever born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? If I living here with Charlie was freaky. Dang, this crap, this stuff is nuts. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's things... Todd's thingy seemed like he took care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great. No, I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this means that my dad, he just, he just. Not my dude crying. Well, at least you know the demon was around though. So he wasn't crazy. So Sal, that's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight for you today, especially with this being our last session in your trial in just a few days. So in my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system, so these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective, the evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but I've told you that I told you, I've told you is the truth. What I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a psycho, huh? Is he going to go to the treehouse and find out? What's he finna do? Oh, the old apartments are run down, dang. We gotta be super old now then. Oh, we're playing his buddy. Oh, this is the place we were in in the dream. 
Man, I would be kind of scared to even go up in the doggone treehouse, bro. I was about to say, is there even a treehouse? I don't remember it being this far up. Shells, rusty tools, and other various junk. Floor, a few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Boxes, they're filled with clothes, boots, because there's nothing of importance. Picture. Seems to be a photo of Larry, Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Uh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. Sal was so convinced that this whole thing has seemed to all. Daughter, daughter Enon. What, what? Don't freak out, man. We need your help. We have to get Sal out of jail. This is much deeper than we thought. Please, you have to get Sal here. This is your, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then. Did he just fall and die? Crap. Bro, did he just fall and die? There's no way that's real. And he was the only way Buddy was going to get out. Is that the end of that? Well, yep, finished episode two. Well, that was a lot longer than I expected, but it's still pretty good, man. Can't be mad at it at all. What is happening? Is this me? Is this real? Am I dreaming white room? And M M Dip. I don't even know what that is. Wait, is it taking me to number three? Other old places. I don't even know what it is. The Phantom's talking. One who lived outside dead now. What should I do? Run, run, run. What is that? Are we still playing episode two? Or is this episode three now? I don't even know what's happening right now. Pull that up. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. A random door opened. There used to be a door here. I think we're going, I think we're a little too far. We're going to stop right here because I think we're getting into episode three now, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep following for more Sally Face. So.